Hi, it's Amaris. I'm Amaris. How are you doing today? Today I'm finna do my reading. Um, find out what planet and um, what sign we're going to do today. I'm kind of like going to pull a quickie read right quick. I got a few errands to run for my mother. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, I also got to hang out a little bit, so I did set some videos up of my friends. Today is birthday, Leo season. It was both of their birthdays, whatever. So we kind of celebrated a little bit. They didn't want to go nowhere. They preferred just be like, we want to sit in your backyard and drink and goddamn me talk shit and dance around. So that's what we did for a little while. I put some videos up. I'm gonna make sure I got all these cards set up and shuffled all greatly. How's everybody day going? Hopefully it's going good. Uh blessing on blessing on blessing. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not even starting. You wanna start this when we laid it out. But um how you guys doing today? So, I'm going to see what planet we're going to be on today. You want to tell me what planet we're going to be on today? Oh, there you go. South Node. Wow, that's crazy. My, um, that's crazy. Um. Uh, one of my favorite readers actually just got to talking about the South Note or whatever. I also consider her as a soul sister. She's so wonderful. Shout out. Peppermint. Okay, so the sign we're going to be talking about today. Okay, it's kind of like that. Weirdo. Ah, there we go. Scorpio. So we're talking about Scorpio today. What house? Oh, wow. We got two houses for Scorpio. Uh, so it's the fifth house, the fourth house in the fifth house. So we got Scorpio on the south node in the fourth and fifth house. So, Scorpio, I'm going to try to see what species. Oh, my God. I don't even think I got the book up here with me. Sweet Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. I got so many. Um, Scorpio, where are you? Here you go. Okay, I got it. I got the book. I didn't have to actually run out to my room. <laughs> You would have had me, heard me running. Whatever not. My brother has epilepsy, so I switched rooms with him. His room used to be in the basement, and mine used to be upstairs. But I um, switched rooms with him because the last thing I wanted was him to like end up having a seizure and all busting his head because the basement is concrete and whatever not. Um, so we with Scorpio the Dragon, and you're in your Yang. So since you're in your Yang, I'm gonna be using the Dark Deck, Shadow Deck. I have a Shadow Deck because you have to be intact with your Dark and your Light. You cannot just um be in the light. Too much light will stun your growth, and not only that, it will dry you out, and you will wither the hell away. Um, and too much darkness will stun your growth and keep you from growing as well and engulf you in darkness so it's best that you're always intact with your good side your bad side your light side and your dark side and you level it that way um you know pretty much you'll be uh level as they would say balanced is the word i was looking for balance so yeah most definitely um work on it you know work on your dark and your light and and balance it out you're going to have to, if you want to survive, if you really want to reach your high, highest power and highest potential within self, physically and spiritually, mentally, emotionally, 
uh, and even manifesting wise. So I would advise everybody, uh, your dark and light. I mean, you put a seed in the ground, it's in the dark and you water it and eventually it comes out in the light. You know, if it's no sunlight, then the plant not going to grow. And if it's too much sunlight, the plant's going to die. So most definitely get intact with your dark side, just like you are in your light side and balance it. Cause it's a time to be good. And it's also a time to be bad. Okay. Let's make it make sense. Okay. It's no such thing as 100% evil and 100% uh, good and 100% light and 100% dark. It's either your 60% dark and 50, I mean 40% fucking light or you 50% light and 50% dark, or you 30% light and 70% dark. At the end of the day, it's no 100% dark, no 100% light, okay? So get in tact with your dark and your light side, and anybody that tell you otherwise is telling you a bold-faced ass lie and setting your ass up for failure, most definitely, because best believe they hip to that game, and they playing it that way, and that's what I call a setup. They're setting people up for failure. But tap into your dark and your light and level it. Make it 50-50. Okay? So, Scorpio, you're on your south node. You're in the fourth and fifth house. The dragon in the yang. And no matter your um, zodiac sign, if... You were born 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, or 2012. No matter your zodiac sign, your species would be a dragon. You would be a dragon. And right now we're talking about Scorpio, the dragon, and the Yang. So I'm going to um, use my dark deck, my shadow deck, as you would call it. That's what I call it because I got a light for the light, for the dark, your light work, your shadow work. You got to do both so it can be equal and you're balanced. Don't listen to anybody else to tell you otherwise. They're setting you up for failure. And that right there is unfucking cool. And any person that tell you, oh, I'm not, they, they, they're just as dark. They're just as fucking dark. Okay, so um, Scorpio, you what you'll be doing is there will not be purification to resurrect as you did in the past. The power of love, anxiety about the secrets of your home base or your family, investment gambles and other games, trouble resulting from the power of do what makes you feel secure in your creations. So this is what's going on on the fourth and fifth house on the south note with you, which explains why you're in the yang right now. But that only means that you need to do some shadow work, you know, and we all have to do shadow work, trust and believe. Okay, so we're going to do the oracle reading. I fix my nose ring. I'm so sorry. Ah, and it's hard when you got nails. Y'all yeah, like my nail color. My nail tech picked my color out. She's like, what color you want? I was like, you pick it. Okay, is there anything else there? You know, for Scorpio. That's where she, uh, my birthday's in October. She chose the color of my birthday too. Oh, Okay. You guys got a lot going on today, Scorpy. Anything else for Scorpio? All right. So you got to dress up alchemy, release your power. So it's time to go ahead and release your power. And I can understand because, um, shoots, I'm not going to lie to you. I be kind of scared too uh, of that little dark side and that shadow work. Or whatever not, but it's time to release your power. You released a lot and more than enough power light wise, and it's time to do your shadow part, uh shadow part and release some of your shadow power, you know, and it doesn't mean it's negative. 
in any, I'm sorry, a card fell down. It doesn't mean being negative in any manner. <laughs> Neither is just that sometimes you can fight the dark uh, with the light. And sometimes you can use the light to fight with the dark. But there comes a time where you have to fight light with light and dark and dark. And this is where that shadow work comes in. And it's time to release that power because you're in that path where, you know, uh, since you're about to be upgraded, you're going to run into a lot of shadows. So with that being said, you're going to have to know how to protect and to defend and to fight and protect in shadow mode. You got it down packed in the light. Now it's time to do shadow. And I can understand how that is. Because just like you can get overindulged in the light, you can in the dark. Three witchy sisters, the power of three. So God is going to send you two more people if you don't already have them that's uh, more experienced in their shadow work. And they're going to help you with growing and how to maneuver around and use and operate in your shadow work. Sea storm, calm, and chaos. Okay, so you good with being calm. Now you got to learn how to work through and in and handle chaos. And I mean, just because you and your shadow side don't mean you have to be vulgar and mean or down in. You know, um, there's a way of being humble about it. Sea Beacon Fairy, guidance, but there will lead of uh, guidance, but where will it lead you? And again, that's where you got your three witchy sisters, those two people. They're going to help guide you, but you also go by your instinct as well. And pretty much if there is not matching with your instinct, it wouldn't be a good idea, but guys are not going to send you anybody that's um, not going to direct you the correct way because you're not too intuitive when it comes to your shadow side because you're used to your light, if that makes sense. Um, you got Poe. It's time to change to learn something new, to use technology and gadget, uh, gadgets with wisdom. And this kept coming out on me, which pretty much made me start going ahead and giving in to starting to do my oracle readings and little videos online. It kept popping out. So pretty much this is the same thing for you. So if um, you're good with cooking, uh, if you're good with cleaning, if you're good with nannying, if you're good with doing hair, nails, if you're good with making clothes, if you're good with speaking, reading, whatever it is that you're good at doing, it's time to bring it out and it's time to put it out onto the internet. It's time to bring it off into technology. You got the Violet Duchess, still foot bored and stuck. And I can understand why, because I mean, shadow work could do that. And I, you know, shadow work's not fun unless you're being a dick about everything or you're being mean and vicious and malicious towards people. But there is a more funner and humbling way to do that. So um, I also want you to know being bored is good. Stiffle, you need to stretch. You know, and stuck, never stay stuck. It's okay to sit, you know. It is, it's, it's okay to sit. It's okay to rest. But do not stick and end up stuck. Because once you do that, it's, it's pretty, pretty much hard to, like, um, get out of, if that makes sense. Okay, so. All right, so. We're going to go to Wonderland. I need to grab. There you go. I also got to get into the Lonely Woods. Okay, so now we're going to wander off into the Wonderland. There are some things in your past that you'll be able to bring back and some things that you would have to leave. You would really have to just leave there, you know, forgive yourself and others. Some things that may not be useful, but there are some things in your past. Excuse me. That may be um, usable and helpful for your present and future. Mm. 
Oh shit. Is there anything else for Scorpio? Okay. Okay, so you got follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity, and it came out in reverse. So that only just means that you're not. And right now is pretty much not the time because you're not equipped in your shadow work yet. So this is why you need to do your shadow work so you can um, be equipped. And once you are, I guarantee if I do end up doing a reading again on Scorpio, the dragon, um, and the yang, nine times out of ten, it's going to turn um, up right. Okay, so you also have wake up time. It's your moment. So wake up. It's your moment. It's your time. Most definitely is to do that shadow work. Don't be afraid. Embrace it. You're not going to go overboard and mess up, you know, um, but you have to, to level yourself because again, you got three paths. You have the right, the left, and the high road. And in order to get to the high road, you would have to have your light and your dark balance. And at this point, you can't go right and you can't go left because you're both, which only leaves you to the high road which only means you got your wings. So this is just getting your wings, you know? So work on your shadow work. You got your light work done. It's time to do the shadow work. So that way you can be level and have your dark and your light level and you can spread your wings and you can take the high road and fly. And this is a whole new level and elevation, whole new power and being that you will become and be. But the only way you would be able to take that high road is if you do your shadow work, your light work, the right road, your shadow work, the dark road. But when you've been down both roads, you got your wings and you ain't got no choice but to take the high road. It's no way in the world you can just do all light work and, hey, okay, I'm going to take the, okay, your ass going to be flying with a broken wing. That's what the hell is going to happen. Or even if you just went to the dark and didn't even do any light work and work and you try to go and take that high road and fly, you run up that damn hill and jump, you going to, again, be flying with a broke ass wing or, or one wing, with one wing, you know, so it's very important that you go into your light and your dark and you level it, you balance it so you can spread your wings and you can fly. Simple. Keeping up immense effort in advance. So that's good. You you are giving immense effort, but at the same time, make sure in the middle of that immense effort is some positivity. It's positivity in there incorporated with it. Because if you don't, you will get consumed by darkness. I mean, when you're going to do your shadow work, you st you're going to have to bring a, a bitter light. That's why when you look at these scary movies or like, oh, what was the name of oh, that movie? Uh, Insidious. When uh, the boy went to the spiritual realm, he needed a lantern. They needed a lantern or a flashlight. That's that little bit of light or that light work going into the darkness to get ready for your shadow work. And along the way, you're going to run into a lot of things. And you may you may end up saving some souls and saving some people and bringing them out. And you may end up turning, you know, regaining, uh, getting demons to where they can actually be redeemed. But the only way you'll be able to do that is if you're able to balance your light and your dark, you know, so it, it, that that's, you know, what you really have to do to do that. But again, you won't, and we, you would end up being consumed if you did. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. So rather if you're in the light or in the dark, everybody's a little different, and you need to accept that. 
because how would you feel if somebody didn't accept you because you're a little different? That little different can make a big difference. So let's be more acceptable. Such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality and coming home. So pretty much that's what's going to be going on, you know, and who knows, you probably did start off in your shadow work and it was just a little too much for you and you ran away and you went off into the light work and, you know, now that you done completed the light work, it's like, oh, what do I do now? And I can't go take the high road because I'm not fully equipped for it. That's why you have people that rise and then they fall. So it's time to go back home. Those deep, dark secrets. Deep, dark trauma. Pain you cause yourself and to others. And it's time to work on that and heal on that. Forgive yourself, forgive others. And not only just that, it's also to where people who don't know you that will honestly do those things too and shadow work is more as just um working on your insecurities your flaws your faults forgiving people for their faults acknowledgement and admittance you know and accountability i wonder what happened next ready to adventure prep piece of change pause before action do not pause it's no reason to pause. You pause, you stall. You stall, you end up stuck. Get through it, get it done and get it over with so you can get that other wing and you can take this high road and you can fly. And you can be dipping and dabbing in the dark and the light and you can pull people that's too far off in the light and pull people that's too far off in the dark back. Okay, believe strange encounters. So just like in the light, you run into strange encounters in the dark, you really gonna run into some very, very strange encounters. And they're going to be very, very scary, weird, all kind of things because they've been in the dark. They've been in the dark. And creatures of the light look very different from the creatures of the dark. And those are creatures that have not transformed or evolved because either too much light or too much dark, or they got too comfortable in the light and too comfortable in the dark, not knowing that they need light and darkness to survive. You need both. It's no either or, it's both. If not, then hey, you're going to be like everything else on this planet. The light going to fall and the dark going to fall and it's going to be all hell breaking breaking the fuck out so it's very important that you do get intact with your light and your dark side you leave a plant in the dark too long what happens you plant a seed and you don't put it in the sunlight what happens you take a plant you sit it in the sun and it sits there too long what happens but when you got the right amount of darkness and the right amount of light what do you get? A garden, a beautiful garden, or a beautiful harvest. Okay, it's just like too much water can drown a plant. Uh, drown a plant. Not enough water can make it dehydrated. It's just like our body. Our body is just like our soul. The planet is like our body and our soul. The planet is even dark and light. You notice the planet is dark. And light, it has light and it has dark. And it's a certain amount of time. It's a certain amount of time to have light and be in light. A certain amount of time to be in the dark and be dark. And then you have it to where you have the sun and the moon out at the same time. Because if I'm correct, the sun lights the sky in the day. And the moon lights the sky in the night. But then you have this time frame during the day and before darkness, the beginning of daylight and the beginning of darkness, you got the sun and the moon out together. Dark and light. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 
up. Drink from your own well and water your own garden. See what I'm saying? That's why it's time for you to do your shadow work. You did your light work. It's time for your shadow work. Because soon, you're going to be giving people water from your well. And you're going to be watering gardens. But you can't do that. If you haven't drunk from your own well and watered your own garden to even see if your water has enough minerals and proteins and is nourishing enough and have enough vitamins to feed and nourish those plants for them to grow. It starts with self. Best believe every scientist on this planet Anything they came out with, they started testing it on themselves, and eventually they went and tested, put, started testing a plant, an animal, or another human being. It starts with self. Into your arms. So you got somebody that's sitting in, in the dark waiting on you, too. They could be waiting on you to come there to do your shadow work and bring them out. Or they could be there waiting to help you, teach you, and guide you through the shadows and darkness to do and complete your shadow work. So that way you're balanced to take the high road. ebbs and flows see what i'm saying ebbs and flows you see that not too dark not too light just the right amount of light and the right amount of darkness and you see the flourishment you see that water water in the plant coming from the well and nine times out of ten you know once you once you complete your shadow work and you got your dark and light and you take that high road, your well is going to overflow with purifying water. Next thing you know, it's overflowing to where it is creating rivers, lakes, oceans, and seas. And you're nourishing and feeding everything that surrounds you. This is what you want. So you do your light and you do your shadow work. Don't you listen to nobody that say, stay in your light. I don't do, no, you do that. Because if you don't, it's going to be in desolate. You won't have a good harvest. You're going to have a half-assed harvest. And you see, that's not too much water, but just enough. Just enough. Hope is like a hummingbird. And as again, you see that? Got into this dark and light, her dark and light. Drink from my own will. And now it overflowed. Look at it, made a sea. See that? The well overflowed. Drip down, turned it to a waterfall. Turned it to a river, a lake. And here's your sea. Don't stay in the dark and don't stay in the light. You balance it. Because the only thing left to do is fly. Not unless you want to jump in the water and swim. But you'll be able to. But your only choice is not to just jump in this water and swim. You can fly too. But if you just in your light, you ain't got no choice but to jump in the water and swim. You just in your darkness you ain't got no choice but to just jump in the water and swim. And every time you try to jump up and fly, you're going to fall either back on this rock or dead ass in the water. So balance and level your light and your darkness. So when you overflowing, hey, you can choose to swim or fly 
or do both. And it's lonelier at night. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Supposed to be. You don't see them putting more than one seed in the hole. You see them put one seed and then cover it up and poke a hole and put another seed and cover it up and right beside it poke a hole. So you have to go through this alone. But just know it's somebody in there waiting on you to help you and guide you through. Your shadow you, your higher you, and then the guides that were sent to you. To walk along some road. And actually yesterday, when I did a reading on Aries, that was the same thing. You have to walk that long some road. And um, I'm, I love Rick and Morty, so I didn't get to put this in there yesterday. I didn't think about it, so actually I replayed the video and watched it. But if you're familiar with Rick and Morty, I love Rick and Morty, and you should get into that too because it's very, very subliminal, uh, dark and light. So if you really, really want to get into your shadow and your light work, Rick and Morty will really, really help you out. So get into that. Uh, so, and Rick and Morty, Uncle Rick end up leaving Morty for a while and end up right going on his own alone. And in the middle of it, he ended up with two crows. Them crows was his guys. And they helped him there through the way. And after he was done and after he was complete with his shadow work, they left. And he came right back to Morty. So you don't have to be afraid. Go do your shadow work. You got your guys that are waiting on you to help you get through there. You're going to have your weapons. You're going to be fully equipped. Whatever you can't handle and beat, they're going to handle and beat it for you until you're strong enough and able to. And again, like I say, check out Rick and Morty. That will really, really help a lot of people out with their, shot, their light and shadow work. That right there is the best place to light. Go there for that. Okay. So here we go with my dark deck, the shadow deck. I call this my shadow deck. Going through three card spread. And again, like I said, I'm just like starting to get into really tarot. I'm pretty good with the oracle, but I'm just not, you know, really getting to know the tarot. So I would have to read you guys the definition. Let's see. So, Scorpio the Dragon, you have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and if I'm correct, this is the world. The wheel. I'm still learning, so it's the wheel, not the world. It's the wheel. We all make mistakes, but it's the um wheel. So you got the five of cups, queen of pentacles, and you have the wheel. So five of cups describes grieving, disillusion, disappointment, betrayal, bitterness, wallowing, self-pity, can signify a broken heart and that's something you're going to have to get over get through you got under it 
Now it's time to get over it. You got the Queen of Pentacles. And that's a healer, a working parent, a self-made person, material wealth, and abundance, strength in family and community, a kind and nurturing heart, brownness, being down to earth and generosity. See? So, I mean, I need you to work through the grieving and the disillusions and everything so that way you can be able to even be able to do, be a queen of pinnacle in the shadow. We want you to be like this in the dark and light. We don't want you like this in the light. And then here it comes, you're this in the dark. Okay? We want you like this in the light and the dark. And the only way you can do that is if you balance and you do your shadow work. Then again, you got the will, which is in your favor. But it only really will be is if you do your shadow work like you did your light work. And you got this. I believe in you. But my belief in you doesn't mean anything if you don't believe in yourself. I tell people this every single day, even myself. I even tell myself that. Change, fate, destiny, a lucky break, cycling up through karmic lessons, the chaos of creation, and turning point, serendipity. Serendipity. <laughs> That's a funny word. I like this. But um, see what I'm saying? So you have to get into your light, uh, shadow work like you did with your uh, light work and get it done. Um, I got to get out of here, you guys. Somebody talking about me. Let me get my ear. But that's nothing new. I'm used to it. To the fact where I just simply laugh. Yeah, I got to get out. I got to go take care of my mom. So, um, Scorpio the Dragon. That was your Oracle reading for today. I hey, I gotta cut it short because I would have done the uh hit and true oracle, but I really don't have the time. I've been pretty much behind a lot today, but a lot of blessings been like just happening and going through. And you know, you gotta put your work in, you know, when you do that. I mean, when you get blessings, you have to give blessings. You have to be a blessing. If you don't, then it's going to fall apart, you know. So, um, thank you. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe so I can start trying to go live and you can see me live. And uh, share if you like. I really pretty much don't care if you do or if you don't. However, I do care if you like and subscribe. And I really don't care if you don't like, but I do care if you subscribe just being honest but um you guys be blessed you have a great day don't let nobody push you off take a deep breath in close your eyes and blow walk away it's not worth it they're low trying to bring you low have a great day and i'll talk to you guys later